Hi there, welcome to Noctis on YouTube. The Hebron oil rig is one of the largest oil fields located off the coast of eastern Canada, Newfoundland. It lies precisely 350 kilometers southeast of St. John's in the Jeanne d'Arc basin which spans up to 8,000 square kilometers. It has a vast size with its main platform situated at a water depth of 93 meters. Interestingly, the waters where the Hebron oil rig operates are the same waters that swallowed the Titanic after it hit an iceberg and sank in 1912. Long before the construction of the Hebron oil rig, the oil field was first discovered in 1981 as part of the Jean d'Arc Basin Exploration. The Hebron field is the fourth production field operated in the basin following Hibernia, Terra Nova, and White Rose. The field is estimated to contain more than 700 million barrels of recoverable hydrocarbons. The oil rig, operated by ExxonMobil, has the capacity to produce an average of 150,000 barrels per day. With its size and daily production, the Hebron oil rig is the second largest oil field in the Jean d'Arc Basin and contains relatively heavy oil between 18 and 25 API. The construction of the Hebron oil rig began in 2012 and was completed in 2017. The construction process was complex and required careful calculations to ensure smooth and procedural oil drilling operations. For the Hebron oil field construction in Newfoundland, ExxonMobil built a platform installed on a separate gravity-based structure or GBS. The platform, with a diameter of 130 meters and a height of 120 meters, is positioned in the Atlantic Ocean at a depth of 93 meters. The GBS also features 52 well slots for oil storage. The facility is expected to store up to 1.2 million barrels of oil. Apart from ExxonMobil, other owners of the Hebron oil rig project include Chevron Canada Limited, Suncor Energy Incorporated, Statoil Canada Limited, and a Newfoundland and Labrador-based energy company Nalcor Energy Oil and Gas Incorporated. As it is located in the typically cold Atlantic Ocean, the GBS is specifically designed to withstand sea ice, icebergs, and other meteorological and oceanographic conditions. Therefore, the GBS has seven storage compartments surrounded by seven ice walls to protect it from icebergs. In addition to the GBS, there are several main components, such as 132,000 cubic meters of concrete volume, approximately 40,000 tons of rebar, 3,400 tons of post-tensioning steel, mechanical equipment like piping systems and structural steel amounting to 8,000 tons, and 52 well slots. Meanwhile, the key metrics of the topside include a topside length of 158 meters, a topside width of 70 meters excluding the helipad, a topside height of 110 meters, and an operational topside weight of 65,000 tons. Additionally, there is a crude oil production of 150,000 barrels per day, an air production of 200 to 350,000 barrels per day, an air injection of 270 to 470,000 barrels per day, a gas handling of 215 to 300 million standard cubic feet per day, and accommodations for 220 crew members. The structure's height and the choice of U-shaped tendons for vertical pre-stressing result in the use of extremely long tendons, up to 140 meters in the storage and outer cells and 234 meters in the center column. A duct injection method is also formulated to ensure perfect duct filling and to ensure the absence of voids. 
These tendons are manufactured on shore, each consisting of 19, 22, or 31 strands. After completion, the tendons are transported to the GPS using specially designed and produced equipment. The GBS will be anchored to the seabed by gravity alone, along with an integrated production topside and crew living corridors. The platform has the capacity to store 1.2 million barrels of oil in its storage compartments. The GBS plays a crucial role in this drilling project because the Hebron oil rig is located in an area known as Iceberg Alley, which has the potential for turbulence. This is similar to the Hibernia oil platform. For information, the Hibernia GBS has a 15-meter thick ice belt that includes a 1.4-meter thick external ice wall. The ice wall is star-shaped with 16 sharp teeth that distribute the impact force of icebergs to the structure's surface. The GBS for the Hebron oil rig is built at the Bull Arm construction site, where the Hibernia GBS was also constructed. The next step is entering the first phase of operation, which is carried out in a dry dock up to a height of 27.5 meters. The GBS section will be towed offshore to complete its construction, up to a height of 72 meters for the storage cells and 125 meters for the shaft. This operation is carried out using nine towing points installed on the structure with eight Frasinet tendon tieback lines. Mooring anchors are also secured to the structure using pre-stressed tendons. The GBS towing process requires close coordination and scheduling to complete on time. After the GBS construction is completed and the top side is installed, the platform can be towed to the location using approximately 10 tugboats. Seven tugboats apply a pulling force of 1,350 tons, while the other three apply a reverse force of 500 tons. These tugboats are equipped with four anchors weighing 15 to 20 tons each. Each anchor is also used to position and hold the GBS in place. Upon arrival at the location, the GBS will be ballasted and placed on the seabed before being connected to the wellheads. From the construction to the platform relocation to the middle of the ocean, contractors sometimes face a major technical event in the form of seawater infiltration into the entire concrete. However, they need not worry because they've developed work procedures and technical solutions such as removing corrosive materials from post-tensioning ducts before tendon installation. Moreover, they will ensure the sealing of seawater infiltration sources to maintain high sustainability standards in post-tensioning work. When the platform is moved to the middle of the ocean, many parties estimate that the platform can produce 700 million barrels of crude oil. To support this success, ExxonMobil must be able to ensure the well-being of the crew working on the Hebron oil rig. Therefore, the Hebron platform provides various comprehensive facilities for its crew. The facilities available on the Hebron platform range from sleeping quarters like rooms on a cruise ship, entertainment areas, to dining rooms for the crew on duty. As with other rigs, the crew on the Hebron platform also works in 12-hour shifts alternately. They can work offshore for several weeks and then receive three to four weeks of vacation time to spend with family and close relatives. Not only does it have a significant impact on the company and its employees, but the presence of the Hebron oil rig has also successfully developed important economic opportunities for Canada and other countries. Unfortunately, this also raises environmental concerns about the potential contamination of the marine ecosystem around the oil rig. 
Therefore, researchers have begun addressing this issue by developing advanced microbial biotechnology to respond to and mitigate the risk of accidental offshore oil spills. Nalcor Energy itself has discovered four potential large oil basins in the Labrador Sea. However, they are more than 1,000 meters deep in remote and harsh sea conditions. Thus, the development of advanced subsea technology and digitalization is required to ensure safer operations. As a result, the offshore and subsea technologies developed for Hebron are likely to influence the development of the oil and gas industry worldwide in the future.